How do you tell the 1950s in a style that a 21-year-old would understand? Something that was impressive, informative, educational, in a sense that people can walk away feeling like that was a great experience. Music is such a great medium for that. Especially in the one-take format, where we don't cut at all, and we have great music playing and lots of moments blasting. So given that, I thought there was a really interesting opportunity to do something really well that could resonate with an internet audience. I immediately went to Vince Pion, who was able to pull this amazing crew together, this cornucopia of talent who's so familiar with working with each other as it is. This is one family of people that are very familiar with working with each other. I wrote the lyrics in about 48 hours so that Michael Thurber can create music and uh, get session musicians at the same time choreography was made by Celia Ralston Hall, who scrambled, and within just a couple days, she put everything together. We basically said to ourselves, what's the visual here? Are we gonna have a studio? Okay, that's good, it's a controlled environment. And on top of that, there was a color aesthetic. Well, what really represents the 1950s was the Mondrian look, the primary colors on a canvas in, in chaos. It was kind of a set where we can have our female lead, Lexi Hume, basically create this world. And at the end, we can have 40 illustrations symbolize what the 1950s was. It's a big underpinning of irony is that you have a strong, bold, beautiful lead who's on camera hijacking the song and turning this into a women's empowerment video with female dancers right behind her staring at the camera as you have four men in the background not even looking at the camera, building the set for her. So it's almost like this preclusion to the decade of the 1960s where a lot of women's rights were gained more effectively there. It was the 50s that opened up the imagination that the 60s could happen, that the 70s could happen.